All right, dudes and girls. Today's video will be comparing the original Ark Royal versus the new one. Now, usually I don't do these kind of videos, but I think this is a really good topic because both their kits are pretty similar, but they do two different, entirely different things. Um, so I'm going to talk about that in particular because I'm looking forward to using my own Ark Royal, not JB, that's for sure, but the uh, upcoming Ark Royal and whatnot. So both of them are very, very similar, right? So we have the uh, original Ark Royal right here, mainly built for bossing and whatnot, pretty decked out. It wasn't until this update of Operation Simon's where people realized how OP Ark Royal is, specifically with Assault Carrier right here. 25% chance to do double damage. That's insane. That's insane. And as of right now, we have the current Arc Royal. Well, if I can find her somewhere. um, In the works as of right now. Well, I can pull up the thing. So, let's talk about these two shifts in particular. Luckily for you guys, I have... I have both of them pulled up as right here. So we have both Arc Royals. Let's talk about both of them. Now, no artist known for the new one. I assume it's the same voice actor, but who knows? Maybe it is the same voice actor. I don't know. So, stat-wise. Now, these are data mine stats. I'm pretty sure they're correct. I'm, it, was, it was correct for her you made it, so I'm going to assume it's correct for this one as well. They're very identical. Now, it costs two oil more, but 19 more of evasion or a uh, not evasion aviation more anti-air less reload by two but everything else though is very very similar or at least other stats are very very similar now efficiency the first torpedo bomber stock or slot is five percent more not bad it's like slight upgrades from the original slight so what's the real uh, takeaway from this well judging from this you're probably going to assume, just by stat-wise, Arc Royal Meta is probably the better one from terms of stats, right? But the big takeaways are the skills. Now, skills are very, very... This is the big, this is the difference between both ships right here. Arc Royal is a very simple kit. All she has to do is airstrike, and if she procs the 25%, she deals double damage. This is... This is what makes Arc Royal broken in this game. This specific skill right here. I think as of right now, only two ships have this. And it's Ranger and Arc Royal. Assault Carrier is very, very deadly. Because this right here, combined with the fact that she has two Torpedo Bomber slots, and you both use Ryu's, you use Ryu's saves from before these, it is very, very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. But, Arc Royal Meta similar kit but not entirely so the new one we have a barrage now i can show you guys a clip as of right now what it looks like it's like you, you send in like three three ships and you just run them into the enemy straight forward right now this is pretty cool i won't lie but it's primarily for slows but the, and that's it now this right here this is the assault carrier version of arc royal the meta assault carrier when ship launches an airstrike, 50% chance to do 50% more damage for 8 seconds. And if it doesn't activate, it is a special barrage. So, I'm going to tell you guys that right now. With these two skills alone, Arc Royal Meta is more reliable, but does less damage compared to Arc, Arc Royal. Now, I'm going to talk more about her skills in particular. We have also uh, these other ones as well before I get into a topic with this skill in particular. Accuracy. Accuracy... It may not seem important, but when you're fighting shifts that are higher level than you, this is really important. And there's one specific buff in OS where I personally hate this one the most, and I'll show you guys right here why, or I'll show you guys uh, the one I hate. It makes it so evasion goes up as well, and accuracy will help out a lot. Now, this is for bossing primarily, and I'll talk about um, both arc worlds in a bit. But accuracy is a good buff, 15%. On your carriers as well, very good buff because you want to hit those torpedoes. Um, when equipped with a Royal Navy aircraft, it also launches an airstrike. Additional um, level 10 skills based on damage, like most most uh, ships nowadays with uh, these kind of things. If not, increase AA by 15%. The second part right here, I'm not a big fan of. 
not really a big fan of. Um, this is kind of like whatever, honestly. But it's our vanguards, I guess. So it's like it's whatever. Uh, but this skill right here is like whatever to me. And we have the eight, the generic eight um eight percent damage. Um, wait, this is reduced damage actually. Oh God, yeah, not a fan of that. This is eight percent reduced damage. I mean, it's so whatever. I mean, it helps out, but not a fan of it. Okay, so what's the takeaway here? TLDR, Arc Royal OG for bossing. Arc Royal Meta for mobbing. Similar to Haryu Meta. It is, she's for mobbing. Now why? I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. First, we'll talk about the Assault Carrier in the Shadow Skirmisher. 50% chance to do 50% more damage for 8 seconds. 25% chance to do 100% more damage. Now, when, you, when you're watching those like speed clear videos, those like high score ones, I'm going to tell you guys right now, it doesn't take the first try to get this thing to proc. It's going to take multiple, multiple, multiple tries until you get that assault carrier to hit. So most people reset fights. If you're going to reset the fight multiple times, why would you settle for 50% more damage when you can re when you can settle for 100% more damage, right? You're going to reset the fight multiple times. So by default, if you have unlimited tries, 100% more damage is obviously the better choice. RNG. Yeah, there's a less, there's a smaller chance to proc this compared to proccing Shadow Skirmisher. But if you sit there and just leave the fight, go back in, leave the fight, go back in until you proc that Assault Carrier, OG Arc Royal is just way better. Way, way better. And the third skill, while this ship is equipped with the Royal Navy aircraft, now this right here, there's only three decently good planes to use for, for Arc Royal Meta to proc this skill. Two of which are Barracudas and Wyverns, torpedo bomber slots. I'm going to tell you guys as of right now, Wyverns and Barracudas aren't meant for bossing. They're not. They're for wave clearing. Arc Royal can use two Ryuseis, no problem. But if you want to get the most out of this skill right here, to get the additional airstrike, special airstrike, you need to have at least a Wyvern or a Barracuda or... A Fairy Barracuda. A Fairy Barracuda is a Dive Bomber with Armor Break. Now, it does less damage than Dive Bombers, obviously. But, I believe this plane is fine for Arc Royal Meta because... If you guys know Ar OG Arc Royal, she doesn't have the highest Dive, bar dive Bomber efficiency. Just like Arc Royal Meta. So, if you have that one bomb of 1600 pounds or whatever... It's not going to do much. So, because of her low efficiency, it might as well just be a dead slot, which is fine. Because most of the damage output, most of the meat comes from the torpedo bombers. The dive bombers are just there. The meat and juice comes from the torpedo bombers. So, I believe if you want, if you want to do like two Ryuseis and Fairy Barracudas to get the Royal Navy plane for dive bombers, that could work. Now, we're going to have to wait until... The testing, obviously, but that could work. That could definitely, definitely work. And even though we have, like, all these, like, airstrikes, accuracy buffs, like, more barrages and whatnot, OG Arc Royal is just, this right here is just way too good. Like, there's very little ships in this game that can deal as much damage as Arc Royal can when she procs this skill. Very, very little. So... I'll tell you guys that right now, because of how much barrage she has, she is meant for mob clearing. Now, I will say this as well. I'm not a big fan of Arc Royal Meta in the sense that even if she is meant for mobbing, there's not really much place to use her. Probably like OS and that's it. Now, you can use her for like regular mob clearing and whatnot for events and whatnot, and that's fine. But I'm going to talk as if she's like level 120 and use her for like the end game stuff. In World 13, Arc Royal Meta is kind of whatever there. Why? Because you want fighter slots in World 13. She has no fighter slots. She's going to just sit there and just let the enemy planes just walk in. And she can't do much about it. So I'm not a big fan of using her at World 13. In Operation Sirens, Simon Strongholds and all that stuff, she could work there. She could definitely, definitely work there. But so can a lot of other ships as well. A lot, a lot of other ships as well. But 
I like the 15% accuracy. It makes it much more reliable. And I also like the fact that even if um, even if she does fail this 50% chance to proc something, she gets something out of it as well. So it's not like you really, really care too much about it. Because if you're using Mob Fleet, who's actually going to reset a fight because they failed to proc Shadow Skirmisher because of the 50% chance? No one. This right here is the is the developer's way of saying hey you missed your 50 percent but here's a little uh, compensation for you that's what this is saying right here so don't reset stuff don't reset the fight just play it out meaning these are really really good for mobbing and whatnot so my final take arc world meta very good for mobbing could work for bossing as well but i'm gonna have to test that when i max her out in two months um two ryusei's and fairy barracuda i want to test that out before I give like super super details about her. But as of right now, very very good for mobbing. Maybe good for bossing, we'll have to see. But definitely by no means is she replacing Arc Royal for bossing. There's no way. Maybe for mobbing, sure. But for bossing, Arc Royal OG is just way too good. Assault Carrier is a very very busted skill. Very very strong. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. 